doggy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're so cute. Good morning. You went out early today. My beautiful roses. Oh my God. And this one just in full bloom. So gorgeous. Even out the door, I mean out the fence. Easter lilies are coming up. Hopefully, I don't think they're gonna be ready for Easter. Just in a few more days. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday of um, now we're gonna have some new zinnias. That's what we planted here. Those are succulents are doing really, really good. And our Teresitas, they're beautiful too. Teresitas. I call this fire plant. It's grown so much. And the gardenia is going to have lots and lots of flowers, hopefully. I can see them already coming up. The little buds. It's not the garden that I want, but it's a starter. This little oak, I think I have to replant it in a bigger pot so it can grow. I have it here for several years, at least maybe five. Huh. Yeah, something like that. So we're going to have to do something because it's not really growing. I just love plants and I want my dream is to have a big, big, big yard garden. Another succulent there. And here we have water hyacinth, uh, plus a few others that are water plants. Um, a few others that are water plants. Hyacinth, this is an invasive spe species in Texas, and I think I've seen it all over other areas in the States, but I have it here contained. I won't let it get out of here. Some more succulents and they're in full flower. These are, we call it in Spanish, Corona de Cristo. Crown of Thorns, which is the same. Oh, and then I have this here. This is a cotton plant that it, I took it out of a field and um, it's now growing and hopefully it'll have new flowers. I didn't take out the, these are the seeds inside here. For some people that live in the city and they never seen a cotton plant, which I didn't do that until I was in my late teens. 
and it's right in there the little seed 